Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The scanner class in Java is a powerful tool used for obtaining input from various sources, including user input from the console. It is part of the java.util package. Here, I'll provide an informative tutorial on how to use the scanner class to get input from the user, along with code examples. Hashtag 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 1. Importing the scanner class. Before you can use the scanner class, you need to import it. Hashtag 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 2. Creating a scanner object. To read input, you need to create an instance of the scanner class. Typically, you'll create a scanner object that reads from system.in, which represents standard input, the keyboard. Hashtag 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 3. Reading different types of input. The scanner class provides several methods to read different types of input. Here are some commonly used methods. Next int reads an integer value. Next double reads a double value. Next line reads a full line of text, including spaces. Next reads the next token word from the input. Hashtag 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 4. Example, simple user input program. Here's a complete example that demonstrates how to use the scanner class to read different types of input from the user. Hashtag 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 5. Explanation of the code. Import statement, the import java.utility scanner, statement allows us to use the scanner class. Creating a scanner object. We create a scanner object named scanner which reads from system.in. Reading an integer, we prompt the user to enter an integer and store it in integer input using next int. Handling new lines, after reading an integer, we call scanner.nextline to consume the leftover new line character. Reading a string, we prompt the user for their name and read it using next line. Reading a double, we prompt for a double input, like height, and read it using next double. Closing the scanner, finally, we close the scanner using scanner.close, to free up resources. Hashtag 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 6. Important notes. Input mismatch exception, if the user enters a type of data that does not match the expected type, example entering a letter when an integer is expected, a input mismatch exception will be thrown. You can handle this with try-catch blocks. Closing the scanner, it's good practice to close the scanner object when you're done with it to avoid resource leaks. Hashtag 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 conclusion. The scanner class is a versatile way to handle user input in Java applications. By using it, you can easily read various types of data, making it an essential tool for interactive Java programs.